Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you having trouble sending messages on your iPhone regardless of whether you're using iMessage or SMS? In this video, I will show you all the solutions to fix the issue so that you can successfully send messages again on your iPhone. Let's go. If you're having trouble sending messages on your iPhone, you can try to force quit the Messages app and then relaunch it after a few seconds. Force quitting an app is the simplest method in resolving any app glitches without having to restart your entire device. If you're using an iPhone with Face ID, slowly swipe up from the bottom of the home screen. This should bring up the App Switcher where you can see all the apps you've recently used. Find the app that is glitching and swipe up to force quit it. On iPhones with a home button, the process is a bit different. Simply double press the home button and then swipe up, just like you do on the latest iPhone models. Afterwards, you should be able to open the app again. Sometimes a stuck chat thread can cause the Messages app to malfunction. Some users have reported that deleting old messages and starting a new conversation with the same contact can fix the issue. If the issue is still not resolved, it could be caused by a few things. Let's start by checking if you have a network connection. Messages are sent through your cell phone provider's connection, but you can use Wi-Fi if available. Make sure you have a strong network connection. If you're in a low signal area, your messages may not go through. Also, check your cellular service plan and make sure you haven't exceeded your texting limits. If you have, you may need to top up your load balance. Once you've checked your load balance, make sure airplane mode is turned off on your iPhone so you can send and receive messages. You can also try toggling airplane mode on and off to force your device to request a new connection to the network. You should also make sure the contact's phone number and area code are correct. To check it, open the Contacts app and choose the contact's name to see their phone number. Once you've checked the contact's phone number, also check if MMS and group messaging are enabled in your settings. To do this, open Settings and tap on Messages. Under SMS MMS, toggle on both MMS messaging and group messaging. This is important especially if the message has a photo or video, or if you're trying to send a group message. If you don't see an option to turn on the configurations I've mentioned, contact your carrier to see if your plan supports group MMS messaging. In addition, if you use iMessage to send texts, check if iMessage is activated in your settings. It could have been turned off accidentally, which might have been the problem. Turn on iMessage, go to Settings, select Messages, and then toggle on the iMessage option. Also, toggle on Send as SMS option. This will send your messages as SMS text messages if iMessage is unavailable. Having the wrong time zone on your iPhone can also cause problems with the Messages app. To set the time and date correctly, open the Settings app, go to General and choose Date and Time. Finally, toggle the Set Automatically setting on. If you're still having trouble sending messages, check the Apple System status page to see if iMessage is down. If it is, you'll need to wait for Apple to fix the issue. The Messages app can sometimes malfunction or experience other issues. Restarting your device can resolve these software conflicts that are preventing your messages from sending. Keep in mind though that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11 or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then, press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. 
Another way to fix the problem is to remove and reinsert your SIM card. To do this, you'll need a paper clip or a SIM eject tool to pop open the SIM tray. Once the tray is open, take out the SIM card and inspect it for any visible damage. If there is none, place the SIM card back on the tray and reinsert it into your device. Otherwise, contact your carrier provider to request a SIM card replacement. Once reinserted, check if the network issue has been resolved. Keep in mind that iPhone 14 models purchased in the US don't have a SIM card tray because they use an eSIM. You can also try updating your carrier settings. This can help fix connectivity problems that may have prevented you from sending messages. First, ensure that your device is connected to a stable Wi-Fi or cellular network. Next, open Settings and navigate to the General tab. Go to About and let the screen idle for a few seconds. An update prompt should appear shortly if there is any update. If so, simply follow the on-screen instructions to install the carrier update. Additionally, your iPhone has network settings that control how it connects to cellular and Wi-Fi networks. If these settings are corrupted, it can prevent your phone from sending texts. Resetting your network settings can fix this problem. To reset your iPhone network settings, open Settings and navigate to General. Scroll to the bottom and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Press Reset and choose the Reset Network Settings option. Then enter your device passcode to confirm the action and start the reset process. Please note that your Wi-Fi passwords, cellular, VPN, and APN settings will be restored to factory defaults. However, you can easily reconfigure them once the reset is done. Also, don't worry, no personal data like photos, contacts, or other files will be deleted from your device. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.